Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Romanova eventually defects to the US for reasons that include her love for the reluctant criminal turned superhero archer, Hawkeye. The first hints to Natasha Romanova's childhood come from Ivan Petrovich, who is introduced as her middle-aged chauffeur and confidant in the Black Widow's 1970s Amazing Adventures. Take our lead. While never explicitly stated in the films leading up to Avengers Endgame, Natasha Romanoff and Clint Barton have a romantic connection in their relationship, though they couldn't consummate it for various reasons. In the comics as well as the films, Hawkeye and Black Widow worked together as S.H.I.E.L.D. Make your mark, take our lead. Clint and Natasha are best friends. However, at the start of their relationship, Clint Barton, as Hawkeye, was sent to eliminate Natasha, but instead, Barton saw her skills and recommended her recruitment. The two began an everlasting partnership, with Barton affectionately calling her, Nat. Let's help you make your mark. We love them together, though it's a bit difficult to define what kind of relationship Natasha Romanoff and Steve Rogers have. Steve even tells Bruce Banner in Avengers, Age of Ultron that he's seen Natasha flirt. And given their dynamic in Captain America, the Winter Soldier, he's not wrong. Take our lead. Sadly, it was her commitment to protecting the heroes of tomorrow that got her killed by the last hero you'd expect. Whether Captain America was in his right mind when he killed Black Widow really depends on who you ask. Make your mark, take our lead. James Rogers was the son of Captain America and Black Widow. After James was born, he and the rest of his adopted siblings were secretly hidden within an Arctic base to be safely raised by Tony Stark. James along with his other siblings only knew of the Avengers through Tony's tales of their former glory days. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.